Give yourself lots of room. So knees a little bit wider, maybe hands a little bit wider. Taking a really nice, slow and deep breath, drawing the air in through your nose. Filling up the lungs, the back body, letting it rise, expand. And exhale just to settle. Letting the shoulder blades soften away from one another. Lifting, last night it was the armadillo, today we have an angry bird. <laughs> We're going to lift up the torso, walk both hands over towards the right side of your mat, walk the left fingertips a little bit further forward. Taking a really nice deep breath in. Big breath out. Rolling your left shoulder down and away from your ear. As you inhale, lengthen the left arm just a little bit more. Find a little more reach, a little more stretch. As you exhale, roll your left shoulder down and away from your ear external. Yes. A little tug towards the left side of your mat, deepening that stretch. Switch, walking over towards your left. Right fingertips reach a little bit further forward. Deep breath in. And big breath out. So creating like the longest line that you can between the middle finger and the hip bone. And then just using your breath to expand the muscle, expand the skin, create space between the shoulder blade, uh, rib cage rather. Keep your hands glued on the floor and pull your rib cage towards the right. Yes, shortening left side, expanding right side. Slowly come back into center. <clears throat> this time, flipping your palms open to the sky, thumbs turn out. Mm -hmm. Really work those elbows together underneath you. Walk your elbows a little further up the mat. Take a deep breath in between the shoulder blades. Exhale to press down and draw back, pulling your hips to your heels. Palms back down to the mat. And as you inhale, round and curl up. Tabletop. As you inhale, let the belly drop down, shoulder blade squeeze, eyes and chest lift up. Little rock through. Exhale to press back, round and curl, tailbone and chin under, spine high, belly hollow. Inhale, belly drops down, shoulder blade squeeze, eyes and chest lift up, a little rock forward and through. Nice, exhale to press back, round and curl, tailbone under, spine high, wake up the backs of your legs to help you tuck your tailbone under, press away from the hands, spine high. Inhale, belly drops down, shoulder blade squeeze, eyes and chest lift. 
Exhale, press back, round and curl. Squeeze right shoulder towards right hip. <clears throat> Take your toes and bring your toes to the right side of your mat also. So you're gonna pick up your feet and you're gonna bring your toes to the right, off the right side. From here, taking the left foot, stepping it out into a lunge, yeah, and then just flossing forward and back. Pressing that left knee open towards the baby toe edge side of the foot. Bringing the right hand to the center of the stance and the left hand up to the sky. From here, both hands come down to the inside of the left foot, flex the left toes, straighten the left leg as much as you can. Oh. oh, you guys feeling these stairs yet? Wait, give it a day. You need a couple of days. <laughs> drop your toes open, so press the left toes back behind you, just dropping them towards the back of the room. Oof. Good, slowly bend back into the left knee. You can keep both hands down on the floor or if you like, bend the back knee in and catch around. If you're ready for it, you could always try it on if it's too much, too soon, just drop the back toes, three. So right hand to the floor, left hand catches foot. Other way, there you go. Nice, two. Good, slowly release. We're gonna bring both feet back to center. And then you're just gonna do like a little semi-circle, sliding the left leg back. Right knee underneath the right hip. <clears throat> left toes float back behind you. Take your right hand forward, we hold. So create length first between fingers and toes. Internally wrap the baby, to, uh, internal rotation through the lower half. So baby toes really wrap down. Think about lengthening your low back, so pubic bone to belly button, upper rib squeeze in. Nice, now as you inhale, inflate the shape up, so heel lift high, thumbs lift high. Exhale, contract, round and curl. Press away from the floor, spine high, belly hollow. Inhale, lengthen, arc, reach up. Use the full length of your breath to get there. Exhale to press, round and curl. Squeeze the back of your leg to support you. Spine high, belly hollow. Inhale to reach out. Exhale, round and curl. Inhale, lengthen. Both hands come down to your mat. Keep your left toes floating. Three sunbird bows, breathe in. As you exhale, the elbows are wrapping back. You're tracing the rib cage. Shoulder tips meet fingertips. Elbows high for three. Nice. And up. For two. And up. Last one down. Rounding curl, knee to nose. Kick your left leg back out behind you. Take the right toes off the mat, modified half moon. Bend your top knee in, squeeze your heel to your bum behind you and start to draw your kneecap back. As you inhale, press out of the floor, out of the bottom shoulder. As you exhale, squeeze the left shoulder blade back to kiss your spine, rolling the heart high. Ooh, that sounded good. Slowly release. Both hands come down, both knees come down. We shift the hips back, we go child's pose, hips to heels. Deep breath in. And big breath out. As you inhale, round and curl up, tabletop. Belly drops down, shoulder blades squeeze, eyes and chest lift up. Exhale to press back, round and curl. 
Inhale, belly drop, shoulder squeeze, eyes and chest lift. Little rock through, really open up your chest, your belly. Good, exhale, press back, round and curl. One more, inhale, belly drop, shoulder squeeze, eyes and chest lift. Exhale, round and curl. Keeping the spine rounded, take your toes to the left side of the mat, squeezing left shoulder and left hip closer. Step your right foot off to the right side and then lean into that right foot. You got it. So remember, you can move your hands from where you are. You can walk them a little bit further forward, getting into, so we can floss. Flossing, you're gently moving forward and back, so you're getting into that left side hip flexor, inner left leg. When you're ready, stretch back. Walking the hands forward towards the top right corner. Bend back forward into your right knee, bringing the hands towards the top right corner. So you can stay here, or you reach around and catch that foot with your right hand. Leaning, yes, leaning back, opening your chest. Three. Two. Slowly release and come back. Walk your hands towards the front of the mat. Bring the left toes in, draw the right toes back behind you. Floating the right toes. Floating the left hand. So find your midline first. Pubic bone to belly button. Press away from the hands to tuck the upper ribs back in. Get a little longer. And the next inhale, you float everything as high to the sky as you can. Heel high, toes high, eyes high. Exhale, contract. Press away, spine as high as you can get it. Round and curl, squeeze, squeeze. Tailbone under, more spine higher. Good, inhale, lengthen, arc, reach up. Exhale to contract, round and curl. Inhale, lengthen. Arc, reach up. Exhale, contract. Inhale to lengthen. Drop your left hand down to the mat. Breathe in, the left hand down. Breathe in, three sunbird bows. Shoulder tips meet fingertips, elbows to the ceiling. Three, and up. Two. And up. Last one, down. Slowly we press back up. Kick the left foot off the mat, turn to face the right. Modified half moon, bend the top knee in, squeeze heel to bum. As you inhale, resist the floor, press down to go up. As you exhale, soften the shoulder blades together, heart high. Slowly release. So we come back, tabletop. So let's take a little bit of an extended tabletop. Walk your knees just slightly behind the hips so that your stance isn't so like literal, right over top. Knees just slightly behind or hand just slightly forward. Tilt your table, modified plank, keeping the toes tucked under. So from here, hook pubic bone towards belly button, lengthening the low back. Press away from the hand, squeeze the upper ribs in. Look forward. As we lower, keep your bum where it is. Pull your chest forward for three. <sighs> Elbow squeeze into you to lift you back up, nice. Back forward and down for two. Arms stay slick and you just stop where you feel it. 
Nice work, everyone. Elbow squeeze in to lift you. Looking good. Slowly coming down. Stay here and hold. Three. Look at this goose on the left. Two. <laughs> <laughs> Press back, child's pose. Hips to heels. Yes. Deep breath in. Big breath out. As you inhale, rounding curl. Take your feet as wide as your knees. Melt your hips to the floor. Let your shoulders shrug up to your ears. And let them round forward a little, stretching your belly. Take a deep breath in, and as you do, soften your elbows, wrap your shoulder blades around your spine. You might lower a little. And then slowly move down to the floor. Taking the right arm out beside you, wrist and shoulder, one line, we roll open, left foot to the floor behind you. Deep breath in. And big breath out. Back to center and switch. Left arm out, right hand in, roll open. Slowly come back through center. Both hands right underneath your shoulders. Reach your lower, the heel of the hand towards the lower ribs. As you inhale, lift up, cobra, sliding the elbows back. And release. Coming back up for two, deep breath in, shoulder blade squeeze, collarbones wide. Maybe a little higher, nice, and release. <laughs> Inhale, lift up. Cobra. Tabletop. <sighs> Down dog, tuck your toes, lift up and back. Oof. Work it out, bend one knee, stretch the other. And here, really start to match your movement with your breath, using the inhales to lift up high to the tiptoes, the exhales to melt the heel down. Yeah, work out all the kinks. As you inhale, lift up high to both tiptoes. Roll your sit bones a little bit higher, melt your heart a little bit closer to your thighs. And then keeping your heels and your tailbone high, bend your knees, we call this turbo dog. Chest to thighs, elbows wrap down towards the floor, external rotation and neck relaxes. Hollow the belly button back to the spine. Three. Two. Deep breath in. Press forward, high plank and pause, hold. Elbows wrap back, arms hug into the midline and then resist the floor, press down to go up. Three. Two. Downward facing dog, right leg goes up to the sky, inhale. Bend the top knee, open up your hip. Maybe making circles. Take a deep breath in, press away from your hands. Big breath out, press off the toes, knee to nose. So bring your shoulders right over top of the wrist, round the spine, hollow the belly, hips as high as you can get them. Nice, Sam. Inhale, up and back, and Jill, so good. Three-legged dog, big stretch. 
Exhale, round and curl. Shifting forward and then shifting high. Inhale, up and back. Knee to nose and pause and hold. Spine high, belly hollow. Back leg is your anchor, so squeeze it and lift it. Knee to right armpit. Knee to left armpit. Kick it out underneath you. Drop your back heel to the floor. Left hand to the sky. So right leg all the way. There you go. Pressing down to go up. Lean back. Eyes look for the left fingers. Nice. Downward facing dog. Deep breathing. We land for five. Relax your neck. Four. Three. Nice. Two. Inhale, high to tiptoes. Exhale, bend your knees. Turbo dog, draw back. Elbows wrap down. Create, yes, create space. Use your legs, press forward, high plank. Elbows wrap back, arms hug into the midline. Hips and shoulders, same height, can you feel it? So M a little higher, a little more. Pubic bone, so work this, yes. And soften through here a little. But maintain this, lift the hips higher, yes. Left toes float, breathe in. Up and back to the sky, three-legged dog. Bend the top knee, open up your hip. Every inhale you create and look for a little more expansion, like inflate. And the exhale you find and work on the depth by softening, allowing, not forcing. Knee to nose for one. Exhale, empty the lungs, tiny little package. Knee to chest, heel to bum. Inhale up and back, three legs. Shift back forward for two. Elbows wrap back as you move forward. Arms hug into center. Oh, oh, oh. Inhale, up and back. Last one. So use the back toes to lift your hips as high as you can. Round the spine, hollow the belly, shoulders over wrists. Maybe past the wrists if you want an extra challenge. Victoria, hips higher. Up, 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 up. Kick it out. Oh, sorry, knee to left arm. My bad. Knee to right arm and then slide it out underneath you. Drop your back heel down to the floor. Pressing away from the front hand to stand firm in that back foot. Hold on. Step back, down dog. June, back over here. I saw you. <clears throat> Different room today. Good morning, don't worry. So don't worry, I'm good. Down dog. Hands to feet at the back edge of your mat. Now measure hip width. It's about two knuckle widths side by side. You can take up a little bit more space if you like. Grabbing opposite elbows and hanging. Ragdoll, forward fold. Lift up all 10 toes. Work a slight inward rotation through your thighs. So feet press down and away from one another. Neck relaxes fully. Shake your head, yes. Shake your head, no. With this exhale, let gravity take your arms, your spine a little bit further. <clears throat> 